Well, we had acquired her at the uh, 2019 or 2020, I'm sorry, Skipton Sheepdog Cell in uh, Northern England. And uh, I'd seen her run on the internet a couple times and joined a couple uh, Facebook groups that were primarily for working sheepdogs, the International Sheepdog Society, etc. And uh, had seen her video several times, was looking for a good working collie and seen that she'd work cattle. Phone rang and uh, then we started bidding on her. Now the guy that uh, that was on the phone bid, he was really hard to understand and I just told him to buy the dog. The, the bid was in guineas and you know I wasn't I'd done an equation on Google and trying to find the equation from guineas to pound sterling to pound sterlings to US dollars was quite the challenge and so I figured she was probably about five or six thousand less than what I paid. So about four or five hours later the phone started ringing from people in the United Kingdom wanting to do an interview with me and uh, talk to me about the world records uh, highest price sheepdog that I ever sold and, and I, obviously that was me. So kind of a transition period. Um, she was really shy for the first couple, I'd say two or three weeks. And there was uh, kind of a learning curve, I think, for the accent for the most part. And you could herd chickens or, go or you know, goats or rabbits or whatever you want to herd. I mean, that instinct's in her to, to bring those animals back to you, and that's what she does. Well, the, it's a vital, vital part of your ranch for everyday working. If you're going to be out here and, and pushing cattle through a pen, weighing them or getting them up to doctor them, I mean, you've got to have a dog to work with. She's you know, brought us a lot of notoriety to the ranch, and uh, you know, just the, the following that she's got right now um, has been huge. I mean, she's really popular. I mean, her daily thing is when she gets to come out here to the farm every day, she knows that you know, when she hits the gravel road, that it's time to go to work, and you can see her attention really come to life. And, her mannerisms completely changed than when she's at the kennel at the house where she's laid back. I mean, when she's here, she is ready to go, you know, round up some animals and, and help assist what we're doing that day. Here the rest of the time we're fishing on a boat and enjoying life.